on the screen. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Praise the Lord. Amen. Praise, Praise him. him. Hallelujah. Word. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, before we get started, I just want to read Psalm 50. Psalm 150, rather. Amen. 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 Yeah. It says, Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him for his acts of power. Praise him for his surpassing greatness. Praise him with the sounding of the trumpet. Praise him with the harp and lyre. Praise him with tambourine and dancing. Praise him with the strings and flute. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with resounding cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen, hallelujah. Amen, praise the Lord. We learned in Bible school about Shabbat. Right? Yes. yes. To bop the Lord, to praise him with a loud voice. Loud. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, with a loud voice to praise the Lord. Because the Bible tells us that this is the day that the Lord has made. And from there, we have a choice to make. We choose to rejoice and to be glad in it because he has given us this day. He's given us this day with brand new mercies that we've never seen before. So, Father, we come to you this morning in the name of Jesus to thank you for this day, to thank you for giving us brand new mercies, to thank you for creating yourself, it, creating us in your image, O oh God. Thank you for giving us creative power. Your word says that we shall decree a thing and it shall be established. So we decree today that we are whole in you. We decree that we are healthy in you. We decree that we are wealthy in you. We decree that we are wise in you. We declare that our minds are sound in you. We decree, Lord, that we have everything that pertains to life and godliness because of you, because of Jesus, because of the Holy Spirit. And for that, Lord, we give you thanks. We magnify and we glorify you. We thank you, Lord, for living Jesus on the inside of us. We thank you for guiding us into all truth. We thank you that by your blood and sacrifice on the cross, we are made right. And that because of salvation, we are whole and we don't have need or lack of anything. Thank you, Lord, for the power of prayer. We stand in the gap now and intercede for all those, Father God, who are lost and who don't know you in the pardoning of their sins. We also stand in the gap and intercede for all of those who are grieving right now across the country and across the world. We thank you, Holy Spirit. You are one who can heal, who can deliver, who can set free from the power of bondage and grief. So we thank you that your power is working because we know where sin abounds, that you abound, your grace abounds much more. So we ask for your grace. We ask, Lord, for you to have mercy. We rebuke the works of Satan. And we declare that no weapon formed against us shall prosper today, God. Thank you, Lord, for your mighty acts. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your love. We learned yesterday that there is nothing, no thing, no thing that can separate us from your love, Father God. So thank you for loving us. Thank you for putting it in us that we can use that same love to love others, God. We just give you glory, honor, and praise. Let this service be pleasing to you today, Father. Bless the person who's going to be bringing forth the word today. Anoint the worship that it edifies you, Lord. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.
defeated. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Come on and shout if you'll never be defeated. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. What a mighty God. Never be defeated. Amen. Well, hey, let's just get ready, get ready to the word. I know we got to come back later on tonight. So Amen. without further ado, I'm going to turn it back over to the new one. Amen. Glory. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God is the greatest power, we shall never be defeated. Hallelujah. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. We're going to get right on into the word of God. Amen. Looking forward to getting together at 5 o'clock with Household of Faith, Deliverance Worship Center. And our very own Apostle Park will be bringing the word of God. So let us be on the screen. Let us be present on the Zoom. Amen. Let us support our man and woman of God. Amen. As God uses them mightily this afternoon. Amen. Amen. Bless the Lord. We're looking forward to that. Amen. To the word that um, the Lord has given him. And we thank God for our leaders. Amen. We thank God for you, Apostle and Pastor Cordy. We appreciate you guys. We appreciate your life. Amen. We appreciate how you allow God to use you to be a blessing to us. Amen. Amen. We just want to say thank you. Every now and again, you just got to say thank you. Can you just say thank you? Thank God thank for the Amen. gifts. Amen. Thank God for the gifts. They are gifts to us. Praise the Lord. And somebody gives you a gift, you say thank, thank you. you. Amen. We thank, thank God for you as well. We love you. Thank you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Well, let's just go to the Lord in prayer. Father God, I just thank you, Lord, uh, for this time that we can come and come together in freedom. Yes. Hallelujah. That we can be free to worship Hallelujah. you. We can be free to bow down. Lord. Glory we can be God. free to praise your name. We can be free to speak your word. We Jesus. thank you for Glory. freedom today. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, we ask for your power, your anointing. Lord, yes. speak. You speak, God. Yes, Lord God, you speak. Lord, speak through me. Yes. Father God, we thank, thank you, you for your anointed thank word you. coming forth and thank that you. it will be engrafted in us, that we will allow the word to be engrafted in us because we understand that it is the engrafted word that's able to save our souls. So thank Jesus. you, Lord, for speaking today. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. So we're at 2 Corinthians chapter 4. And um, I just want to start and... Please bear with me because I do have notes all over the place, and I'm not just saying that. I really do. Amen. <laughs> um, because as, as it came, I just wrote it down. So I don't know what order he's going to allow me to go, but we're just going to go with it. Amen. With the Holy Spirit. Praise God. So 2 Corinthians chapter 4, looking at verses 7 through 9. And it starts out saying, but we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. We are hard pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. So if I was to give this a title, I'd call it a but not ministry. <laughs> we have Amen. a but not ministry. But not. Amen. But not. How many have been troubled in their life before? Mm -hmm. Right? Um, perplexed, confused, don't know what to do. You ever experienced that? We've all faced sadness in our life we've all faced afflictions we've all faced fears we've all faced trials and tri temptations tribulations in life as long as you on this side of glory hey that's what we're going to experience amen uh the bible says in james you know what we are to count it all joy james 1 verse 2 because when when trials come right so we understand that they're coming uh because of uh, the God, the small G of this world, but he knows his time is almost up. So, you know, things are going to happen. Things are happening all around us. And I'm sure all of us can attest to the fact that we've experienced some hard times. 
Amen. Mm-hmm. Things that shook us. You ever had something come up in your life and it shook you? And you didn't know if you was going to make it another day. Amen. You didn't know if you were going to even live. Amen. It shook you so bad you couldn't even breathe. You couldn't even it cut your breath off. You ever been shaken like that? Amen. Glory to God. But guess what? You're still here. Say, I'm still here. 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 Amen. Hallelujah. I'm still here. I'm still standing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Things that have happened to us we thought was so bad that we couldn't get out of, but we're still standing. Amen. How many are still standing today? Praise God. Amen. Still standing. Hallelujah. No matter what the enemy threw at us, we're still standing. Amen. Glory to God. No matter what life threw at us, we're still standing. That's Hallelujah. right. Amen. No matter, Amen. no matter what the devil meant for evil, God turned it around for our good. We're still standing. Amen. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. Amen. No matter what the situation looked like, it looked like it wasn't going to get better. Mm-hmm. It looked like it wasn't going to go away. It looked like it looked like we were going to just die in our sin. But hey, I'm still standing. Amen. Mm-hmm. Hallelujah. I'm still mm-hmm. standing. Glory to God. Come on, somebody need to rejoice that they're they're still standing. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm just looking at, um, I I can't even see my notes. Lord, help me. Thank you, Jesus. Looking at 2 Corinthians, right? Looking Mm -hmm. at chapter 4. I just want to go back a little bit. Amen. Hallelujah. See, Paul is, is describing this knowledge of God's glory revealed in Christ as a treasure as a life. Amen. Mm -hmm. We have this treasure in earthen vessels or some versions say a jar of clay, you know, this thing here. Amen. We have a treasure. Amen. Verse seven. We have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellence of the power may be of God and not of us. Amen. Mm -hmm. Uh, You know, I don't know if you've ever had anything valuable, but some people hide valuable things in invaluable things. They they hide hide valuable things in an invaluable container, if you would. Like some people put money in couches, right? They might hide money in couches, or you know, you find a, a old container and you put some valuable jewelry in it, or coins, or or things you like to save that's very valuable. Amen. Right? Mm-hmm. Um, have you ever done that? Have you ever seen that? Um, I believe maybe it's because you know you don't want nobody to go looking for it, so they would never think it'd be in that invaluable container, right? That ugly jar of clay, amen. That 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 something that's just limited edition, if you would, can be broken, amen. Why would you put something valuable in there? Would that be the last place anyone would look for it, amen? Amen. Right? The last place you would look for something valuable, right? So God says that we are a jar of clay. Mm -hmm. And inside this jar of clay, we have something very valuable. We have a treasure. Come on. Come on. We have a treasure. Amen. We have a treasure. We have God's power on the inside of us. Amen. We have his power. We have the knowledge of God's glory revealed in Christ as a treasure inside of this earthen vessel, this jar of clay. May not look like nothing on the outside, but on mm. the inside, yes. something very valuable. Amen? Why mm. would God choose to put a treasure inside of us? Huh? Right. Inside of you. Come on. May not, like I said, may not look like, don't let I heard the woman of God say at, at the women's conference in household, at Household of Faith weeks ago, she said, you might be underestimated. Amen? See, the devil under us, underestimates us because he doesn't realize, or he does realize, we don't realize the treasure that we have inside of us. Amen? But see, he looks at the outside. He looks at, you know, and a lot of times we do. We're so focused on this outward appearance. Amen. We're so focused on this jar of clay. Amen. But God says focus on the treasure inside of you. Amen. The power, the authority that you have. Amen. And, and see, God made us to hold something. That's how he made us. He made us a jar of clay. Mm-hmm. To hold something. Right? 
Uh, he didn't make you to just come here and, and look good and be a decoration on the earth. He didn't make a bunch of decor. Amen. To just, just decorate the earth and run around and look good and, and look like we somebody and all of that. God made us to hold something. We are a jar of clay made to hold something. Amen. There's Amen. something on the inside working on the outside. Amen. Hallelujah. We were not made to just be decoration on this earth. And people don't understand. People don't understand the treasure we hold. Amen. Christ lives in us. And we have to remember that power that lives within us. Um, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Which way you want me to go, Lord? Hallelujah. Glory to God. So we have a treasure inside of us, a treasure, a power, an authority. And, and because of that treasure, we won't be defeated. Now, now watch this. We might bend, but we're not going to break. We might be knocked down, but we're not going to be knocked out. Because of the greater one inside of us. When, when I think of a treasure, I think of something very valuable. Um, like very valuable, like precious. Amen. And what I like about what God did is he put this treasure in this earthen vessel so that we can understand that the power belongs to God and not to us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that when people look at this earthen vessel that don't seem like much of nothing and God's power moves through us. There will be no doubt in the world that it was the power of God. Yeah. You can't even say it was you. Amen. You small in stature. You ain't looking like a little bit of nothing. Maybe don't even have no muscles or something. And God used you in a mighty way. And then people mm -hmm. are like, that little thing. Because of the excellence of the power that is in us. I just want to encourage you today. That no matter what it is that you go through, you are overcomer because of the treasure inside of you. Remember, it's by his power, not ours. It is by his might, not ours. Amen? Yeah. So Paul goes ahead, and, and I love how the Apostle Paul just ministers because he's letting them know, look, we done gone through some stuff, but we're still standing. We mm -hmm. are still standing. Amen. 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 Um, no, uh, verse 8 says what? We are troubled, depending on the, uh, or hard pressed, hard the NIV pressing. says, or the New King said. James says. Mm -hmm. Hard pressed on every side. Now, that to me makes me feel like I'm being claustrophobic, like the, the walls are closing in. You ever felt like the walls were closing in on you? Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. But although the walls are Trump, uh, you're troubled on every side and the walls seem like they're closing in and you're hard pressed. The Bible says, but not distress, not crushed. Amen. Mm -hmm. How is it that the walls can be closing in on you and you not be crushed because of the greater one on the inside of you? Amen. Amen. Because of the treasure that's inside of you. Amen. The word distress mean extreme anxiety or pain or sorrow. Although it seems like everything's closing in on you, you are, you do not have extreme anxiety. You are not distressed. Amen. Mm -hmm. now, greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world. Amen. Hallelujah. I want to encourage men, men and women of God listening today that if you feel like the walls are closing in on you, just know that. Hallelujah. You will not be crushed. You have a but not ministry. I'm troubled but not distressed. I am hard pressed, but not crushed. Amen. Lord, you just need to say, but not. Amen. But not. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Perplexed. You ever been perplexed, confused? Uh, you, you, just, you just don't know which way to go, which way to turn. Puzzled. You know, something come at you and it just puzzles you like, what? You know how the dog go, right? It's just puzzling. Amen. It's like, I, I don't 
don't know what to do about this, Lord. But although we are perplexed, but not in despair, we're not giving up. Amen. I might be perplexed. Oh, I might, I might have felt like I don't know what to do right now, but I'm not in despair. Amen. I don't have a complete loss of hope. I am not going to give up because of Christ in me. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So, but not. Amen. When you feel confused, just say, but not. I'm not in despair. I'm not giving up. I'm not going to turn and throw in the towel. Amen. I'm going to trust God. Amen. Persecuted. Persecution means you're subject to hostility. Amen. Because of your beliefs, right? I might be persecuted. They may talk about me. Amen. They may talk about me to my face and behind my back, but not. I'm not forsaken. Amen. I'm not abandoned. Christ has not, God has not left me. Hebrews 13, 5 says, he never leave you nor forsake you. You got to remember that in those times of persecution. Amen. That he will never leave you. You are not forsaken. Just say, but not, but not. Amen. Hallelujah. Cast down, struck down. You ever felt like you've been just knocked down? You ever got sucker punched by the enemy? Amen. <laughs> Something come out of nowhere. You thought mm -hmm. everything was going just fine. All is well. And all of a sudden, you get a sucker punch. Amen. You ever seen someone get sucker punched? Don't even expect it. Came out of nowhere. Caught you off guard. Amen. Mm -hmm. Struck down, but not destroyed. Amen. I'm Amen. still standing. I'm still standing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Struck down, but we are not knocked out. Come on. God deserves a praise on that one. Hallelujah. 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 Thank Hallelujah. Thank he deserves you. a praise on that one. Thank you, God. Knocked down, but not destroyed. Knocked down, but not knocked out. Amen. Amen. God has not left us. He will not leave us. He will not forsake us. We just need to be encouraged today that no matter what it is that you're going through, it might seem like the worst thing. Amen. Hallelujah. But you're still standing and God's got your back. Amen. God's Amen. got your back. Greater Amen. is he. It, oh my God. Greater is he. That's what I keep on going back to because I am realizing that he is the greater one and he gets all the glory and it's by his power and his strength that we're still standing. It's Amen. not by our power and our strength. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. But one thing I found out about a, a, a clay jar is that it can easily be cracked or broken. And God is looking for a broken vessel. Amen. Even though, hallelujah, uh, we're carrying his presence, we're carrying his power, his power, but what is on the inside of us needs to pour out of us. Amen. Mm -hmm. What is on the inside of us must pour out of us. Amen. And 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 thinking of that jar again, that ugly jar or that clay jar that doesn't look like much of nothing, holding something valuable. Amen. And when you look inside of there, what would people see? Amen. What would people see if they opened up your clay jar? Amen. Hallelujah. Will they see the power of God? Amen. If your jar was broken and, and was cracked, would 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 grief pour out? Would sorrow pour out? Would despair pour out of you? Would anger pour out of you? Amen. Would jealousy pour out of you? Would unforgiveness pour out of you? Or would the power of God begin to pour out? Amen. What would people see? Amen. In your broken vessel. Amen. What's in us must come out of us. God is not just made to just stay inside of us, but he wants to come out of us. The gifts of the spirit ought to be pouring out of us. Amen. The fruit of the spirit ought to be pouring out of us, our jars of clay. Amen. Hallelujah. So that people can see the power of God working in you. Amen. Amen. That's the most important thing. Amen. We have a but not ministry. Amen. And when people see how you're going through, that's the greatest testimony. Amen. They see that something's going on in your life, but you don't look like what you've been through, and you don't even look like what you're going through right now. Amen. Hallelujah. You've got a smile on your face. You've got joy in your heart. You trust God. Hallelujah. You're not looking defeated because something's going on in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. That's when the power of God is working in you. And that's attractive. Yeah. People are like, I want what's in there. I want what's in that jar. I want what's in that jar because it's valuable. It's a treasure. Amen. It's a power like no other. And amen. And if you're going through all of that, and I know you're going through all of that, and this is how you're going through, 
I want some of that power. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm reminded of a story. It's called the story of a crack pot. So we're going to go ahead and um, look at that. It's the story of a crack pot. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on. Work with me. Work with me, son. And it starts out like this. Um, a water bearer in India had two large pots, one hung on each end of a pole, which she carried across her neck. One of the pots had a crack in it, while the other pot was perfect and always delivered a full portion of water at the end of the long walk from the stream to the mistress's house, the crack pot arrived only half full. For a full two years, this went on daily, with the bearer delivering only one and a half pots full of water to her master's house. The perfect pot was proud of its accomplishment, perfect to the end for which it was made. But the poor crack pot was ashamed of its own imperfection and miserable that it was able to accomplish only half of what it had been made to do. After two years of what it perceived to be a bitter failure, it spoke to the water bearer one day by the stream. I am ashamed of myself and I want to apologize to you. Why, asked the bearer, what are you ashamed of? I have been able for these past two years to deliver only half of my load because this crack in my side causes water to leak out all the way back to your mistress's house. Because of my flaws, you have to do all of this work and you don't get full value from your efforts, the pot said. The water bearer felt sorry for the old crack pot and in her compassion, she said, as we return to the mistress's house, I want you to notice the beautiful flowers along the path. Indeed, as they went up the hill, the old crack pot took notice of the sun warming and beautiful wild flowers on the side of the path, and this cheered it some. But at the end of the trail, it still felt bad because it had leaked out half of its load. And so again, it apologized to the bearer for its failure. The bearer said to the pot, did you notice that there were flowers only on your side of the path, but not on the other side, <clears throat> the pot's side? That's because I've always known about your flaw and I took advantage of it. I planted flower seeds on your side of the path. And every day while we walk back from the stream, you watered them. For two years, I have been able to pick these beautiful flowers to decorate my mistress's table. Without you being just the way you are, she would have not had this beauty to grace her house. So each one of us has our own unique flaws. We are crack pots and that's okay, amen? But we are an earthen vessel that contains a treasure a power, amen, a great yes. power, amen, an excellent power on the inside of us, amen. So no matter what you look like, no matter what you feel like, amen, in this earthen vessel, just know that the power of God is working in you, and it's okay that you're cracked. Let that power pour out of those cracks, amen. Mm. Let his power, let his love, let his joy, let his peace, let his long suffering, amen. Let gentleness, let the fruit of the spirit of the Lord pour out of those cracks in your life. No, we are not perfect, but in him, we are perfect, amen. And trust the power in you that no matter what you go through, amen, you will stand. You will stand, amen. Remember the words that Paul spoke, that we are troubled on every side, but not distressed, perplexed but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. Amen? Amen. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm not going to say anymore because the Lord says stop right there. That is the word for us today. Be strong mm -hmm. in the Lord and in the power of his might and let him pour out of you. Amen. Mm -hmm. In Jesus' name.
Hallelujah. I'm going to stop right there. Praise God. I pray that that was encouraging. Yes. Amen. Amen. I love the title, A But Not Ministry. Yes. Come what, come what may, whatever it is, but not. But not. But not. Well, I'm going to steal some of that tonight. Amen. Because <laughs> how can you talk about commitment and not talk about the Apostle Paul mm -hmm. and his instructions to us? So I, I just thank God for I was telling my wife, I ain't know I thought I was mute. I said, Ooh, I'm gonna get some of this tonight. <laughs> she don't know she helping me watch it. Hey, well, I believe God wants you to hear that to let mm -hmm. you know, hey, same God, one mm -hmm. spirit. That's right. Yeah. You just gotta, you know, that amen. By the time we want to throw the towel in and just give up, amen, because you know, this or that, but amen. And Paul reminds us sometimes just studying Paul, just you just study Paul, he, that can fuel yeah. you too. <laughs> How did he mean? That's and, it. Yes. I mean, perplexed. I mean, persecuted. I mean, we go on and on and on. Yeah. Amen. But but at the end, that same Paul said, I finished my race. Yes, he did. Come on. Yes, he did. And we do know he was committed to prayer and all that stuff. So I just thank God for you because whoever listened that day, that should encourage somebody. And I don't care how of a great what great place you in now. Amen. There'll be some tasks and some trouble ahead. Mm -hmm. My old pastor said it this way. If you live long enough, you're going to face some persecution. Yes, the Bible says it this way. When you encounter trials of various times. So wait, hey, maybe it's word for somebody. I ain't experienced that now. But when? But when? Yeah. Then you better have a but not ministry. Amen. Come on. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> but when has, but because if you don't butt. have but not, you'll be on your butt. Hey, come on. That's what it means to quit. Amen. Yes. But not. But not. I shake my oh, hey. Hallelujah. I don't. Hallelujah. I don't. Thank you. Mm. Bless you. Lord. Glory. Glory. Thank we had a day where people just quit throwing the towel. Jesus. That's what I was on time where I, I believe too. Just confirm where God want me to go tonight. In the area of commitment. Yes, God. Thank Amen. You. And we'll look at Paul. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. <laughs> we'll look at you. Can't talk about commitment, Uncle Paul. We'll look at Joseph. We'll look at Nehemiah. I mean, briefly look at some of That's that's what I'm saying. Why you're preaching, man? You just start bringing all of them to me. Look what Nehemiah had to endure. I mean, opposition out, opposition within. I mean, it's one thing you got to fight out the house, but you're fighting the right. folks in the house. In the house. I say, where do I go? But he oh. didn't quit. He didn't quit. 52 days. He got the job done. That's right. Come on. Somebody say amen. 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 Hallelujah. So I ain't trying to preach over. I'm just saying this. This table. Amen. It just, we're just going to build off of it. Amen. So get, get some rest. Let's come in. I just believe the Holy Ghost is going to explode tonight. Not because I'm preaching. I just think tonight the committed folks will be there because, you know, the holidays, come on, I'm not knocking people, right. you know. But I just believe those who are going to be there are going to be there. Amen. 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 Yes. And those who want to stay on the grill and know they can zoom in, I pray your burgers don't burn up. <laughs> <laughs> I pray your collard greens don't dry out. Yes. Hey, look at Tony. I pray your ribs. Come on. Don't be a, a wet rib, but by the time you eat it, it's a dry rub. You know. Dry rub. <laughs> That's going to be all good. Come on, Father, we thank you for that word. Thank you for using a woman of God. Thank you for her accepting even the switching and the change of the schedule. For your word said we ought to preach the word in season, out of season, whether it's convenient or inconvenient. And the kingdom is about preaching and pressing. Thank you, the chief didn't allow what could have been inconvenience to stop her from ministering the word. She just went with the flow. So God pour on her, give back, pour back into her. Yes. But now God grant to her the favor that belongs to her, God, coming from you, for she made herself available for your service. And we just thank you in advance. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Come on, somebody say amen. 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 Well, we still want to stay faithful in our giving. I know where we get. I told you, I just personally believe every time we assemble, we should give. I just really believe that. Amen. Amen. Because, amen. Glory to God. So, amen. If you got your tithes in, good. If you got your offerings in, okay. 
Amen. But hallelujah. But we're going to, let's give. Amen. Let's give. I'm going to tell you, you can't beat God's giving no matter how hard you try. I was trying to explain to Apostle Larry this morning, and I just don't have words how God is blessing me and my wife. And I know it's a tribute to all the giving that we do, helping and giving. And, you know, yesterday, man, we cooked out for our family. Next thing you know, we invited the family from the neighborhood. Next thing you know, somebody was riding by, wasn't invited, but got invited. Come on. Amen. And you know, cooking out today ain't cheap. This day, food ain't cheap. Then how about this? While we had all this food, we paid for it. Somebody said, I got all this food. I just want to give y'all shrimp, chicken, and all this other stuff. I, I said, I ain't got room today, maybe tomorrow. <laughs> we ain't got room to receive. But that's what he said. Come on, when you get. So I said, give me a day or so. So we, you know, get, you know, get, you know, come on. Somebody say amen. And, and we didn't do it for that, but that's just how God is. And so you who are stingy, I pray that you don't be stingy because God's not stingy. Amen. He wants to release. He said it, it, it blesses him when he sees his children and his servant prosper. That's right. Living in prosperity. So sometimes you tight. There's a, there's an old saying. Bentley, that's Bentley saying amen. Oh. Hey, there's an old saying that if what you have doesn't meet a need, then it's seed. You got to get some seed in the ground to give God something to work with. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 And so I always tell people, you show me the givers and the tithers, put them on one side and put the nine givers and nine tithers and givers on the other side. And I tell you, I tell you now, who's living best? You got to try God. Amen. And he even amen. says it, right? Try me. Amen. Try him. Yes, I mean, he said, try me and see if I don't pour, come on, pour out blessings on you and open up the windows of heaven. You won't have room to what? Receive. Mm -hmm. We don't try it, everything else. Try his way. Amen. We don't try it, everything else. Overtime, uh, this or that, pyramids, all this other stuff. And guys, when are you just going to try me? Mm. All right. I am. Try the great I am. I am what I am. The way and the, watch this here, the route to whatever you're trying to accomplish. Amen. I'm the route. I'm the route. Route 91, route 322, all these other routes you use, come on, to get here and there. He said, what about his route? All right. You know his route is called? His will. That's right. I'm done. That's right. That's right. So Father, we pray over the offering. In Jesus' name, amen. That's all I was led to do there. So anyway, we're done. I'm going to go back up to York, have them close us out. Hey, get some rest. See everybody later on tonight. Ain't no need prolonging. Amen. Go out to have some fun. Enjoy your day. I got my mom here. Amen. I got my kids here. I had my sister here. My brother. Amen. Just family. Amen. Ain't nothing like family. Enjoy family. Come on. Amen. And, um, uh, you know, and so... Uh, and y'all close us out. This seven, I can say so much on that. But I'm just going to shut up. Hallelujah. Shut my mouth. Shut up, Devin. Father, we just thank you, Lord, for shutting out grace. Now I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, we just bless you. We, we, we thank you for a mighty word, God. We, we just thank you, Lord, in spite of what's going on around us, God, that you continue to reveal yourself. You continue, oh God, to show up and to show out, God, to show that you never leave us nor yes. forsake us. We thank you, God, that those that heard, Lord, the encouraging word would, would take it and, and run with it. Even the, the encouraging word to, to sow into the kingdom, Lord, because we cannot beat you giving, God. And so we just thank you, Lord, that we, we got seed in the ground, Father. And we thank you, Lord, that as, as uh, the, my wife uh, alluded to a little uh, story uh, about the crack pot, God, and, and being used and, and placing that seed and then putting water on it. God, we thank you, Lord, for, for our giving, Lord, that you continue to cause us to, to cause it to multiply, cause it to be a blessing. And so we just thank you, Father, for what you're doing with, with our seed, with that which we thought was little or nothing or, or not much. God, you continue to be a blessing around the world. And so we thank you for that. We just ask that you would move in a supernatural way tonight. Lord, just like uh, Apostle Dad said, 
God, that you're going to cause us, Lord, to sharpen each other, to continue to just encourage one another, even tonight, Father. Yes. So we bless you. We praise you, Lord. We celebrate you, Lord, because even in the time of war, you're, you've been there with us and you've been there for us. And we thank you, God, that you continue to show up and to show out. So we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you all the honor, Lord. And it is in Jesus' name in we do Jesus pray. Name. Thank you, Lord, that you pour back into the woman of God, Lord, that you continue to sharpen her even more. We bless you. We praise you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Love you. Amen. Well, mm. I've never heard somebody in one sentence say, shut up, and then come back and say, Apostle, Apostle Dad. Dad. It's all <laughs> well. He's, he's, he's truly forgiven. That's good. Look, we I'm both we Dad. both had our hands down, right? We had our hands down when he prayed. He said, Apostle Dad, we both looked up and cracked up. <laughs> Now we got real for y'all who don't know, we got real relationships. So shut mouth grace. Shut mouth grace. <laughs> okay. He, he 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 heard the wrong word. You said but not he heard shut not. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hey, well, yo, let me talk. Tony, Tony have a ball when he come to church. Look at him. He, 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 he up here thinking he had a comedy show or something. He be cracking up. <laughs> He do. Hey, hey, sister Betty, he probably got popcorn and Pepsi. <laughs> hey, hey, I'm coming to the show this morning. And a freedom, freedom theater, freedom theater. Where you can have church and have fun at the same Thank time. You. Oh, beautiful. And it's good to see men enjoying the presence of God. Yes. Hey, yeah. Sister Betty, you have something to say about Tony or anything else? <laughs> no. <laughs> But I like the story about the the crackpot. Yeah. But mm -hmm. sometimes in human life, people think because people have mental problems and things like that, they're not good for nothing. Come on. But even resort back to the crackpot watering along the way that brings up beautiful uh, flowers for his servant, for his master. And it's the same thing in people's lives. Even though people may not be 100% in their mind, they have great value to the Lord and it should for us, for ourselves too, to look and find the value in everybody, you know? So I like the story and it was really, and not to give up because you press on every side and to not forsaken because the Lord holds us in the palm of his hand. And like I said, we are a true vessel. Once our lives turn over to the Lord, we have uh, good days and bad days. But knowing that God is going to carry us in his vessel and to be used whenever he chooses to use us. Amen. Thank you. Uh, Thank you, Lord. Amen. That's powerful. Wow. Yeah. Good. All right. Amen. Well, thank you, Sister Betty, for always being in tune to the spirit. Amen. Amen. But y'all go ahead and get some rest. And, um, and I know I'm going to try to get a little bit while all my kids are out. I use some wisdom. Everybody like went out. They went to the beach and uh, all this stuff. They, they they deserve a vacation. They work hard. Keep my daughter, all of them, in prayer. Brianna's working with these kids, you know. And right now, you know, it ain't always easy at being a teacher today. Amen. But really, Nikki, because her hours are always long and just so much of a need. So um, you know, excuse them today. Amen. But, hey, they they on vacation. So go ahead and get out of here. You know, they, uh, um, yeah. she, they got her working a minimum, or her shifts are a minimum of 12 hours. Mm -hmm. They're not really 12. Sometimes she can't get off when she wants. Mm -hmm. Somebody mm -hmm. say amen? Amen. So um, praise God. So get some rest. And um, and I know what I'm going to do, too, because we hosting. And and uh, if it ain't here, we're going to take a nap, walk this dog. Then I got stuck with dog duty. And he <laughs> faced he take every time he with me. We both did walk the whole time because I spoiled him. But I'm gonna take him on a walk. Me and my wife are gonna take over. I'm going to the store because I have a new car. Well, when she come back to the store, we'll take for the walk. She always try to get out of like it's my reason. <laughs> now my mother in law wants that cobbler, Larry. So we'll go after we oh, walk him. We'll yeah. go after we walk the dog together. Then you have to walk. Oh, we're gonna get cobbler together. You walk the cobbler off. Oh. No, just. <laughs> They love y'all. Committed. <laughs> Everybody say commitment. 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 We love everybody. Tell Bentley do us part. <laughs> hey, hey, do we have a little joke to get us out of? Or, or, um, 
Take us out. You got a good, you got a hot one. Oh yeah, I got, I got, I got one for you. I got a quick one for you. It was these two guys walking through the, through the forest. One of them had a stuttering problem, so they was walking along. Then all of a sudden, the one without the stuttering problem, he let off a big scream. Ah! And what had happened? He had just got bit in the butt by a rattlesnake. Hmm. So when he got bit, oh gee, so he told the other guy. He said, uh. You, you got to go for help and stuff, you know? You, you got to go for help. So the guy with the stuttering problem, he looked at his phone, there wasn't no signal. So he told the guy, he said, well, I'm gonna have to go a little further up the hill to see if I can get a signal. But he was stuttering. So he got himself together to call 911 and they let him talk to a doctor. And he told the doctor, he said, uh, uh, my, 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 my friend got bit by a snake. What, what can I do for him? The doctor said, what you're going to have to do is make a cut where he got bit at and stuck the poison out. So he went back to his friend and his friend said, well, well, well what happened? What did the doctor say? And the man said, he said, he, he said, you're you going to die. And he ain't too Got Larry over here laughing. <laughs> That's wrong. Jesus, help him, Lord. Oh boy. All right. He stuttered, but you. he wasn't stupid, huh? That's right. Wrong. All right, love y'all. Love y'all. Poison out. All right. God bless everybody. We'll see you at five o'clock. Love everybody. Love you too. Love y'all. Yeah. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, I gotta stop the thing.